He was upset. Got him carrying a piece of wood. Wow. <laughs> that one's for later. <laughs> An 85 millimeter -y kind of night, don't you think? Join Ty and I on an expedition to a street that we've never shot together before, and actually an area of the city that I've never shot before. It's a very short strip on Broadway. That's Broadway in Denver, not in New York. Uh, quite different. Don't forget to keep an eye open for the pug hidden somewhere in this video because if you were the first person to correctly post the timestamp where it's at, you will be the winner of this brand new a uh, dirty old lens rag that I found on the floor a couple months ago. So post the timestamp below and then I will get your information from you and I will ship this out to you as soon as possible. Enjoy the video. All right, so as I said, I've never really shot this specific area before. I've been around Lincoln and Broadway. Those are kind of streets that run next to each other, but I've never been down here. This is just a very short little run with like a theater and just a bunch of really cool neon lights and a lot of people out. It's sort of like a little main drag, but much smaller, obviously. It was a lot of fun, but you can kind of get the feeling that these people weren't exactly used to photographers walking around, unlike something like 16th Street Mall, which is kind of where every tourist ends up at some point or another so there's always photographers over there because there's just so many people there but over here I got some weird looks and even a little bit of grumpiness that you probably saw in the intro and we'll get into that a little bit later This, I believe, is called the Mayan Theater, and they do theatrical stuff, like uh, movies or something. But obviously, really cool neon lights. Honestly, I really want to come back here with a 35 or a 50 mil or something and try to include more of this sign in some of these low-down shots, because as much as I like the 85 for shots like that, it doesn't leave a lot of room for what's above their head. is a good boy who is a good boy uh, here's Ty absolutely embarrassing me as always this one was a bit unexpected but I actually really like this one I was able to include the whole sign because I was a little further back and this dude in the middle has just the brightest hair I've ever seen and that mixed in with the bag the guy on the left is carrying, and then of course the guy on the right who is combing his afro, which is just fantastic. Oh man, somebody sitting right there would be amazing. I don't want to say this girl looks like Michael Jackson, but um, she kind of looks like Michael Jackson. That's not really a slight. I think Michael Jackson was a beautiful lady. Obviously, it's a bit difficult for the Sony to focus on an eye when there isn't one present, so I guess an ear is next best thing.
We came around the corner to this sushi place, and I think I, we probably spent the most time here because some of the light going on in this place is just absolutely beautiful. As you can see, there's these beams being shot onto the floor on the outside, but what I didn't realize was that they're also on the inside. So the people standing just on the inside of this door have a nice strip of light running down their heads. guy came outside noticed what we were doing and he was also enamored by the light so I asked him if he wouldn't mind standing in the middle of it and damaging his eyesight so I can get a better photo. Is that that Kim Kardashian camera? <laughs> I don't even know how to use these dude. It's got a it's on auto. Finicky, uh, auto focus going on. Okay. It'll, uh, Come in close. It'll snap it pretty quick and you'll hear it. I think that's it. Nice. Yeah, it's film, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to burn through your film if I did fuck it up. So. No, that's, that looks good. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Of course, man. I'm not sure if this girl was in the middle of a sentence, if she was surprised about something, or if she was yawning, but either way, I think it makes for an interesting shot, and the questions about it kind of make it a little bit better. No human element here, and honestly, I wasn't really sure what I was shooting because I couldn't quite see into this window. I had to hold the camera up above my head and twist the screen down so I could see. And uh, I don't know, even though there's no people visible, it's kind of a cool shot either way just because of the lighting. What do we got going on in here, Mr. Guy on the Ladder? Hey, what are you doing? Get down from there. Getting a little bit closer to the Mr. Grumpy Pants later on, but I feel like for every one grumpy person, there's like a hundred like this guy who are just super nice. He just smiled because he saw a camera. That's really fun. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh. Oh. Here's another one of my favorites. I picked this spot and I kneeled down here because of the way that these light shafts are coming out from above the door. And as this guy was walking by, he just so happened to be pulling his phone out of his pocket, which was just perfect timing. I just wish that he blew out that vapor cloud three more steps ahead. For some reason, every time I see a pair of Converse, I just think of the movie iRobot and all the horrific and shameless product placement that was in that movie. So congratulations guys, you've made me never want to buy your product.
So this guy was quite grumpy that I took his photo. Um, you can't really see in the video because I turned a little bit too fast. He's just motion blur, but he actually pulled out his phone as he came back through and recorded both of us. It's not like he stabbed us or really freaked out on us. Some people just don't like having a camera put in their face. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, you're in public. I'm sorry, bro, but it is legal. And like I said, for every one guy like this, there's like easily a hundred people that are just either don't care at all, completely ignore you, or they're actually excited to have their photo taken. As far as you didn't say anything, I mean, yeah. he literally just got brought back. And he just wanted to be like, how do you like it? And we're just like, we don't care. <laughs> So anyway, onward to the next area. I decided to take a little bit of a mirror selfie in this window because I thought I was looking cute, you know, no big deal. Mm. <laughs> that one's for later. <laughs> As we walked by the sushi restaurant again, somebody had a bunch of steamy stuff on their table so it really fogged up this window nicely. So unfortunately the shadow isn't too defined because he wasn't very close to the window, but I still think it's nice and you can definitely still tell it's a person. And I really pumped up those colors in post because I just love shots like that. But anyway, that's the last shot. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you liked it, please uh, consider liking the video and subscribing or something. That would be pretty cool. And uh, make sure that you stick around next time because I brought a little point and shoot out and that was quite Quite an interesting adventure not having manual controls or the capability of raw files and then also I'm going to be playing around with some vintage lenses I, I got some old Nikon lenses that I'm adapting to my Sony and also an old film camera that my dad is letting me borrow so I'm gonna be doing some film street photography anyway a whole bunch of really fun stuff coming up so make sure that you're around for that and otherwise I will see you guys in the next one